Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about Spatial Tag Altimetry in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, at here it is implemented as a common language runtime or serial data tabs in SQL Server and it represents data in a Euclidean flight coordinate system like XYZ coordinate. So, at here I'm going to create one table with the name Spatial underscore tab. And here are uh, uh, giving ID, so it is uh, identity tabs and here call. So at here I'm using geometry. So if you, you give at here geometry, so that accepts some values like uh, degree format, like uh, uh, 90 degree, 60 degree, and x, y, z coordinate kind of values that accept. So let's create the table with the name spatial underscore tab. Now hereafter there is one table created. Refresh the or table folder and here you can find spatial. So if you go for or uh, columns hereafter you can check id is the integer and call is the geometry. Now hereafter the thing is add here spatial tab. So add here a specific spatial tab so you can insert the value like this so uh, one more thing identity column so about that one i already discussed so this is the starting point and that increased by one so in every or uh, inserting values so the value is start from one and that increased by one at here now here after the table is created here after i'm going to uh, execute this query insert into a specific spatial tab values so add here uh, about the identity column so no need to give uh, any values at this point so add here directly inserting the values on geometry add here call one or uh, geometry data types so here execute so one row affected now you can check the output here so this is the one id automatically generated because i have given one one and here after this is the list string now next uh, you can enter add your polygon so if you execute to this query so one more row affected so here or uh, see or uh, this is the value now here you can do some modification so previously i used to 360 now i'm going to insert 180 here after if you execute to or uh, this query so one more row affected so see add here this is the value one two three out there now here after I am going to create one more table so create table as patient so here so location id identity columns location and your deliver so let's execute this query so command completed successfully now here after so for identity columns no need to provide any data the value start from 1 and every x inserting records the value automatically increase by 1 so see at here this is the list string value I am going to insert so here one row affected now you can check the output so see at here the first is location id location and here delivery area so this is the delivery area here or oh, it's a display now here after i'm going to declare one parameter with the name g and here geometry tab so at your set or g so geometry st geo or geom form text so this is the point so at your point that two should be x and y coordinate so if you execute to uh, this query uh, so at here going to copy this and uh, going to use uh, at here now execute so here you can uh, get the output so at here this is uh, 13 so uh, okay I used to this so at your x coordinate 13 y coordinate of 4 and here 9 so 9 is the z coordinate now here you can apply at your this part also now execute to this query so at your getting some oh, error masses declare okay already or oh, g exits Now here give the name G1 
add square to this square again. So add here c or uh, x coordinate values 9 and here uh, 4 that is y coordinate and there is no any z so that it's not displaying at here null. So this is some point related to S no special tab geometry in Microsoft to SQL Server. So if you like to read more contents about to special tab, so you should go for Microsoft to the Microsoft to Docs. So from there you can get more idea as about to special tabs. So at there you can get like a triangle geometry at your polygon and rectangle and you have to degree formation kind of information inside microsoft sql server management studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching Let's see you next video thank you